welcome to another video from the Tiny Menagerie. There are some fish which are very well known in the hobby and everyone seems to have owned them at some point. Neon tetras, coral platys, tiger barbs all seem to enjoy a never-ending popularity. But there are some fish which are sadly doomed to sit on the fish store shelf watching as their more popular cousins go off to new homes. And yet these fish could be just perfect for your tank but never seem to get the same exposure as their arguably prettier cousins. And so here are five fish you will probably walk by, but just might have been right for you. And first on the list is a fish that suffers very badly from swan syndrome. That being, as youngsters, Odessa barbs are about as plain as you can get. They're just a rather dull, silvery grey, and they tend to blend really badly into the background. They certainly don't have very much appeal about them, and that isn't helped at all in stores as they often get put in the less visible locations, while the more brightly coloured fish are brought to the front, understandable considering they draw in the customers. But it's not until they are approaching adulthood that suddenly Odessas start to show their true beauty, and male Odessa barbs are a sight to behold as their breeding colours display reds and yellows and blues, and they have this fascinating black netting over the scales. The females do improve too, they get a very pleasing silver spangling to their flanks, but it is the males that will really draw your eye. But sadly, as it takes them a good six months at least to really start showing those colours, Odessas have never been a very popular fish, simply because people who don't know what they are don't know what they're missing out on. Which is such a shame, as these fish are very hardy, they are eager and easy to feed, and they don't get too large, usually maxing out at around 3 inches. They do need to be kept in a group of 5 to 6 individuals, but they are a worthwhile addition if you have a medium or larger tank. But unlike Odessas, who will grow into a very handsome fish, the next on our list is one that will sadly never be much of a showstopper. The black neon tetra is a reserved sort of beauty, with its strong black velvety flanks and that lovely streak of blue. But they're never going to stand out as much as regular neons, and so they're often overlooked. Which is such a shame, because black neons are a little bit larger than other small tetras, they're easier to accommodate and they're certainly an awful lot hardier than your average neon. And in a natural jungle style tank, they work perfectly because they don't have that freshly painted look about them. Sometimes neons and the coral platys, anything like that, can look a little bit too perfect to be in nature. They do occur in nature, certainly the neons, but the black neons just work so well in a tank. They're a far better choice if you want that tank to look as natural as possible, and once they're established and settled, they're equally as beautiful as any other tetra. They're also very tolerant of smaller tanks, and a group of four of them will live very happily in a 60 litre aquarium. And the next fish on our list is actually my personal favourite, though I will be the first person to say that unless you know what you're looking for, you probably wouldn't even cast a second glance at a sparkling garami in a shop. In these conditions, and certainly compared to the very brightly coloured honey gourami or the other dwarfs for example, the sparkling gourami looks like a silver waif. It is a little scrap of fish that is clearly not very happy, sulking somewhere near the bottom of the tank and probably the last thing you'd want to buy. And that's because these are fish that really need the right environment in order to, funnily enough, sparkle. And in a crowded tank, in a crowded fish store, that is about as far from ideal as you can get for this species. Sparklers are quiet, gentle fish. They like a good shadow to lurk in. Combine that with some dim lighting and you will have one spectacular little fish that is like none other in the hobby. They can also be kept in any number of individuals, and mine are perfectly happy living alone as well as with other sparklers. Although you will see more interaction obviously if you do keep them with other members of the same species. But unlike the previous entries who just need time and the right setting, the poor five-banded barb suffers very badly from having a much prettier sister. And if you are looking for an orange stripey fish to complement your tank, then the eternally popular tiger barb is always going to pip them to the post when it comes to looks. Which again is another real shame because tigers are adorable when they are young, but they get really boisterous when they get older. Whereas five bands are the opposite. They are an absolute pain in the backside when they're babies, they are very nippy. But as adults, they are very easy fish to keep. They are smooth and calm and absolutely darling compared to the rambunctious adult tigers. 
they also don't need so much space and have a far wider range of other fish that they can live with because they don't get nippy as adults. Five bands do like to be kept in a group with at least five individuals, and they certainly look their best in a tank that is not too open nor has a very pale substrate, as they can look a little bit washed out in very bright situations. But if you have a planted tank and you want a slightly mean looking orange striped fish, but that's actually super gentle and can live in a community setting, then five bands could be just perfect for you. And the last fish on my list is one that is actually really rather popular and is well established in the hobby. But as coolie loaches have become more popular, so the age at which they're seen in shops has been getting lower and lower. And certainly in the last couple of years, possibly due to world situations, new shop stock has been little more than tiny squiggly little babies usually hidden away under a rock. And so they are very easy to simply walk by in the store, you'd never even know they were there. Now, if you know what you're looking for, then you can just go and ask the store assistant, but many newbies to the hobbies especially like to go shopping for fish to see different ones and get inspiration for their tanks. And so stocking such young fish does them no favours at all. Now this obviously isn't the coolies fault, it's more a comment on the hobby as a whole. And that to me at least is that the quality of fish being imported does seem to be diminishing, especially since the pandemic. I am seeing more illnesses and a lot more of what can be called little more than fry being sold. Which is a shame, although it will hopefully rectify itself with time. And in the meantime, I suppose we will just have to scour every tank in the hope of spotting the coolies down the bottom. But these are just five fish that I think tend to get overlooked. And like a lot of things in hobbies, I suppose there are always going to be fish out there who are more popular than others. But it's just worth bearing in mind that maybe the one that's not quite so pretty might be the one that's actually ideal for your tank. You never know. Anywho though, I hope you've enjoyed this little video on five fish I reckon are easy to walk by in a store but deserve a bit more time in the limelight. Happy fish keeping everyone and I will see you again soon. Bye bye!